Zoidy jump out here, got his uh, second jump going. Not gonna jump all the way to mid, instead just gonna throw some, some bombs over the top. See some bombs are coming at him as well, and uh, yeah, just some uh, easy run out. Uh, Scout and Soldier off to the flank, off to the races. They actually get down uh, Meeks pretty quickly there. The beggar's not doing anything quite yet. And yes, yeah, Soldier going forward. Uh, Z4 is trying to stand out the point, but not able to get too much going. Has to actually jump back out. I think this is going to be a pretty cautious uh, first point here for Red Team. Yeah, it looks like the Red Team really got their players out and got aggression really early. And Blue kind of huddled himself in one alleyway and weren't able to really get any ground from that. So Red did a very good job dominating the first mid. And it looks like Dr. W is sitting at a 98% of the script spring, so we'll see if they use it aggressively. Yeah, it looks like W is moving forward, but Zoidy maybe not on the same page. was a little further back, and he pops off the crit. So far, no picks coming out from that. Demo goes down, there we go, but Plural and uh, Feminist also down. Z4 are the last one alive for the Baggers Bazooka. Let's see if we can get the scout. Uh, looks like he's gonna go down to 46 health and opt to back out. So Red still convincingly got a hold on the point here. Yeah, that's a pretty classic uh, Highlander play too. You catch them in the, you catch them against their cliffside wall, and you have your your flanker class come to the flank side while you crits them right in front of them. And uh, I mean, it always works. I, I don't think I've ever seen it not work before. So yeah, I'm a Good really classic. big fan of uh, aggressive ubers or aggressive crits is on Viad. I'm sort of just kind of waiting for them to come to you. And looks like. Uh, Mr. Waterson bombing in onto the blue medic does not get the pick, but he does get some distraction off right now. And blue's moving onto the point. And red is down a player, and they're pretty hurt. So let's see if what they do to try and hold. Yeah, two players going down already. Mr. W down also for red, so blue should have this point and a pretty convincing sure. advantage. Waterson just too far out of that fight after doing that bomb, and uh, yeah, uh, ace mat, uh, ace fight for them there. Uh, it doesn't look like a white, but it, it was just uh, just a little bit delayed in the spawns there. So yeah, Blue takes it back. Um, I think just that whole bomb just uh, threw off that whole thing for them, and they Blue uh, reacted very aggressively, uh, which is the, exactly the right move there, because they knew not only had they taken a player, there's also a player who couldn't engage on them from behind them. So they made a 2v4 situation, uh, which made some for two easy picks. Po has his Uber ready to go, and if he gets bombed on, it's an easy save. He he like immediately pops with the demo on the side. Uh, one for two so far, two on two on three. Pearl not linking up with anyone quite yet. His scouts still just protecting him, so. I think just a, a time-based uber, they just want to delay here and, and build up some time. At the same time though, they've lost their uber advantage against the Kritzkrieg, so that could be really, really bad. Yeah, uh, the sailboat guys, in the back, so. the sailboat guys played that really well, um, doing kind of a sixes strategy, but it translated pretty well to four since they did get the force out. Uh, w stayed at spawn, built with a scout, so they're able to have a huge crits advantage, get the pop off, which is what they needed, and move their players back in. So it looks like the crits is going to be popped off from China right now. Ooh, first stick goes out to Feminist, gets taken down. This would be staying alive with 25 health, and not many other crits picks coming out here, though. So this crit's not as effective as they could have made it, so it's two for two for Red Team. Definitely moving on the point. W has to hang back, so he's low health right now. So it's just a DM fight right now. Uh, it looks like Minx or Miz. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. I think it. it's Minx. Minx, alright. So he's he is single-handedly kind of scared away some of the red players, but they do manage to get the point, and Poro's going to be sitting at a nice super advantage right now to repush. And I'm getting yelled at by our, our benevolent overlord G right now that it's uh, Twin Falls, not Twin Peaks. It's not a TV show, it's about a map with two uh, waterfalls in it, so. Cop Twin Falls will be the map after this, that is, if uh, if uh, Brits see Brock able to bring it back here, which even times right now, man, and Uber comes forward too, so. They're kind of looking a little bit ahead, especially after getting Mr. W like that. Four on three situation. Scout playing around the side. He's dealing with everyone right now. Uh, he does escape. Demo uh, picks up the slack for him, and they do recap the point here. Only like five seconds behind, but they have an Uber advantage. The Kritzkrieg will probably be a little bit behind their Uber, actually. They're like a 40% ahead right now. Yep, and Watterson bombed in pretty early there and went down. There's a lot of good back and forth going in from both teams. Red, even though they're down to players, often kind of stay in here. Oh, and Mizix gets taken down early by... Uh, Poopin, I guess, the scout from Sailboat, guys. So, Sailboat down two players actually did not manage to repush very successfully. And Mr. W seems like he's kind of isolated. I think he's just going to opt to head back to spawn and reconnect with one of the spawning players now. Yeah, they're playing for a solid state drive today. So, uh, real money on the line, real product on the line. Uh, could help your computer out a lot if you have a solid state. If you never owned one before, I, I have one, and it's like a five second build up, uh, a five second startup versus like a five minute startup. So, it's a very nice thing to have. Oh, really bad pop here. Scout delinks the demo from the from the medic, and the medic has to pop just to save the demo. Another good uh, like forcing pop here, but Mr. W goes down, so I think he has to stay on crits. There's only like 30 seconds left for this first point to be captured, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to have it in time, so it might have to be uh, into a force here. We might be into an overtime situation in the next 15 seconds. 
Yeah, Feminist made a really good, um, or did something really good during that unopportune Uber pop. He came around and then got the pick on the Mr. W while their Uber was forced off, so there isn't any crazy Uber deficit, and actually Pearl still has an advantage here. So Blue, I think, is going to be able to take this first round pretty convincingly. There's a lot of nice fighting from both teams, but Blue just managed to hold on to it for the longest, so... Yeah, and Kuchki Bop taking the first round out here. They're not happy to walk away in the, from the loser's bracket. They want to go all the way this game. And yeah, very, very convincing start here. We're going to watch uh, the Demo Man roll out on the blue side this time. Minx not going to jump as well. Uh, same exact rollout for the most part. Sticks coming over the side. Minx actually takes the first hit. Uh, that first bomb in from Z4, not able to do too much. But a bomb from uh, Mr. Watterson, also not able to get super much on. They're just vying for uh, space here. And uh, the red team does take the front. But Z4 runs around the backside and Minx does go down. So it looks like Red going to be able to get this first point, assuming nothing crazy happens here. Uh, spam coming over the top, and, they, and Red Team, Blue Team took a lot of spam there. Again, Red Team is on Critch Creek, so they're looking to play uh, another aggressive fast roll here. If they can make this Critch Creek work twice for them, I think they got this round. Yeah, and similar to last mid, I think the Red players really just were good about positioning. They just kind of got on the point and kept the Blue guys out. So if Blue wants to win these mids, they need to get more aggressive now. But it looks like um, Sailboat guys are opting to pop pretty late, and Poirot's actually able to get an uber off by now, and Blue actually managed to avoid the whole entire crit streak, and they're gonna have a full uber to push back with, so... That was a very good kite by the guys from um, Crit Creek Bop, and they've popped uber back in. I'm watching Z4 as he bombs in with the beggars. Red player's just kind of getting off the point right now. Fireblood, probably get something to start the cap while you kept your combo, keeping the red guys away. Yeah, Dr. Zoidian getting muscled out by the combo of Minx and Plural, and they will get the two times recap here. Only 40 seconds down for them, actually a little bit, yeah, almost exactly 40, 40 uh, 38 seconds exactly, so. Again, Z4 playing on the front, he's actually playing really aggressive right now, getting all the health backs, uh, maybe moving to China, no, he just moves back to the point. Uh, instead, people are, red team is rotating over through China and such. Uh, Demo Man spam coming over the top against each other, and here comes the soldier bomb from Watterson, he's looking for that medic, not able to find it quite yet, second jump in a row, and I am either breaking again, uh, or it, it's been paused. I think it but. is a pause, because I'm, I'm watching Ms. X uh, look at a soldier in the air. I'm hoping that as soon as the game unpauses, there's going to be a sick air shot. But we'll, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really too sure what the pause is for. Probably a player crashing or lagging out, but we'll find out. Pings are looking alright. Nobody's over 60, so... Yeah, I'm hoping for one, too. Is this maybe a tactical pause to make the big plays? Possibly. Oh, man. Yeah, def definitely a tactical pause. That's the, the best way to pause, like... If you, there is if lots you pause of money the game, on the line here, so yeah, <laughs> just use the two pauses in any way that you see fit. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you got right on this game, dear? Um, I've actually gonna... my life savings are on the game. I actually bet that feminist would single-handedly get every single frag and went for blue here. So, oh, that was the whole thing crashed cold. Oh, Bill crashed. Okay. So Bill Watterson crashed, so they, they quickly paused for him. He should be back in in a minute or so. Uh, yeah, no, I bet I bet my life savings as well, but on the other team, so. This makes oh, us man. like mortal enemies for like the rest of the match, dear. I hope you're hope you're ready for that. Oh hi, I think I am prepared. But I mean whoever wins, I'll just mooch off of you since if if your life savings get doubled, then I can live off of your ability to live. So we got um yeah. Don't believe the don't believe the HUD right now, but it's about even times right now. Uh, Mr. W is about twenty percent ahead on Uber, but he and he is running crits, so they will have a crits first. This I think favors Red Team a little bit here, but it's yeah. hard to say. It could, it could really go anyway right now. It's a totally even game. I think that Red should be able to just kind of base on where they're positioned, um, get back on the point, and then hopefully aggressively and successfully use the crits. It looks like the blue players are bunched up around main, but I think that after the pause ends, um, Waterson, or actually he was on that crash, so I was about to say he was going to go down, but yeah, they might be down a player, but they're going to have a crit soon, and they have good positioning, so I think people in the chat are making a point to Ask us to say Ms. X or Ms. X instead of Ms. X. Yeah. Okay, Ms. X. All right, we we got it. Ms. X. Looking at Waterson items, he has a a season six uh, Highlander uh, trophy. This is a very old old trophy. Yeah, I like I like the old, style old guard ones. man. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, really big fan of the ETF twelve badges that look like bottle caps. That's probably my favorite cosmetic in the whole game. 
Those are nice. I like the uh, I like the uh, the ETFUL uh, symbols for for platinum for the platinum winners. They got like special particle effects with their phoenix badges or whatever. Those oh, are really that's nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, if you're just joining us, we are paused for winter battle royale. I'm Turbo Cop, and joining me is Deer. We are casting the double limb finals here. Critch Creek Bob has to win the next two. Full rounds of, of gameplay, not just this, not just this map, but also Twin Balls. So, so I think something that's been pretty nice in this match is that in four v four, I think you see a lot of off classing and unconventional weapons run. But both teams have opted to just kind of stick the medic, demo, soldier, and scout. I mean, Z four is probably the most radical, different guy since he's running the Beggar's Bazooka, which is definitely a really strong weapon. But I don't think it's really done too much in terms of getting blue tons of advantages. So. Seeing the pretty stock class laid out is kind of neat on Vidak. I don't know if it's team specific, like what they like to run, or if it's just because this map is one that people are pretty used to just running these classes on. Yeah, the classic rollout. Um, I think it's really, really good for this map in particular because scouts, you never lose your scout in fours. Scout is just too good of a class to lose because you can't have a medic and a heavy. Uh, so scout will is always a, a well positioned, and you always want your medic anyway. So the only two people you can play with are, are soldier and demo man. Um, Domain sometimes is not a good place to be um, if the map is just a little bit too open, or you don't have any, or you don't have your skills quite there. Um, but soldier is always good to have because he can just he can reach right. He can extend out, find your kills, uh, make like huge counter plays for your team if the if the enemy team is out of position, just with this huge amount of mobility. So the most you see is a demo man or a soldier switching off to sniper. Or a demo man switching to pyro, which is uh, the the variation we see for the most part. So it's not a, it's not a ton. It's still the I mean the the basics of TF2 still come into play. You still want to put out more damage than you're taking, and you want to do it more consistently. So, I think it's also fun to see the roles that the soldiers play. I think on both of these teams, they've definitely both played more roaming role, and the demo and the scout would hug the medic a bit more. But the dynamic seems like it could be changed up a bit in fours, since you've got the flexibility to just kind of use who you want as what you want. Like, a roaming scout probably wouldn't be the best on Viaduct since getting the, like, 185 on the scout and just trading him to the rest of the team is usually the most effective thing to do, but doing things like bombing demos in is a lot of fun sometimes, and sometimes effective. Yeah, no, I I totally agree with that. This is, Viaduct might be the best bombing, like, roaming soldier map in existence. I, I don't think there's a, a single map that comes close to how, like, aggressive you can get as a soldier. There's a lot of... How, like, far you can get in, you know? Yeah, room for distraction plays as well. Like, just getting behind the other team and turning their heads is sometimes what wins games. Yeah, and if uh, you're just joining us now, this is uh, Winter Battle Royale. We've been paused for a few minutes now, but we should be looking to go pretty soon here. There are substitutes in place, so if Watterson can't make it back in, we, we will have a substitute for him. And that would be an interesting thing to have happen in our in our Grand Finals game here. Let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more items here. So Doctor Zoidy has been running the uh, the Scotsman the whole time. He likes to have that extra damage bonus, uh, and he doesn't mind the the speed deficit when you're when you're in when you're playing in game. Oh yeah, that does seem like a pretty good item to use. Because does it also have a more range than the normal melee weapon? Like I don't know about that, but it feels more? like it. <laughs> yeah, so that's a that's a pretty nice axe. <laughs> And he's wearing a yep. Gibbous also, one of my favorite hats of the game. So shouts out to Gibbuses. Gibby? Yeah, Gibby, the plural of Gibbous. Feminist uh, has been running some Pocket Boy uh, this this tournament, but he's not running it r uh, right now. He's just on Unclassic Pistol. I think that the, the Pocket Pistol actually might be... I think I'd opt to use that in this... Um, on this map and as scout in particular, just because if the medic is on me a lot, and it looks like Feminist has been taking a lot of the heals and some of the others, um, having even more health than you could have and the mobility of scout seems like it'd be really, really strong on Vita. Sure, and uh, yeah, both scouts running the Boston Basher, uh, trying to get those builds up when you need them. Um, yeah, pretty similar builds overall, it's just the, the one beggars is the really big thing for the most part. Yeah. And the crits versus Uber. Those are the two variations here. I wonder if maybe we'll see the demos um, switch off to the loose cannon or something similar later on. 
So for like for like two whole weeks, I called the loose cannon the cannonballer on on streams, and nobody <laughs> corrected me. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, it felt pretty bad. I'm yeah. famously bad at at not remembering the names of weapons because they're all they're all silly. They all like have different names than what I come up with them, which pretty... is just like the thing you throw. I'm kind the of bad at weapon things. and item names as well, like the cosmetics I'll never know the name of or that they exist. Like my neighbor is actually starting playing the clarinet, so some lovely music coming through my mic probably. Oh, is that what that is in the background? I think so. I think, yeah. Yep. That's what it sounds like. Yep. So. Do you live in like a musical commune or something? Uh, no, I wish I did. It is, it's not a musical commune, it's just a, it's an apartment <laughs> okay. on, a, on a campus, but yeah. Did my not neighbor, know he played the clarinet though, so that's that's a shocker. My neighbor's playing Super Bowl uh, highlight commercials through my walls, so. Oh yeah, that's same deal so here. You can be caught up on the Super Bowl drama and action while you watch some TFT. And uh, I believe the 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 limit here is ten minutes for a pause, or something like that. It would be really really unfortunate if Waterson didn't reconnect here. This would be. Uh, a very poor end to our to our, to our winter battle royale. Yeah, and it's nice that the other team is holding the pause for as long as they have, even if they go over the uh, like designated amount of pausing. I think it's always up to the other team to enforce the uh, time limit and do the unpause. I know in ESC at least that's the case. So they got sure. some teams that choose to not unpause early or on time when people don't have all their people together. So what have you been up to recently, dear? You didn't you didn't play in a season last year. Is that, is that correct? That is correct. Er, I I think the last time I played was in Sivo Open. I played on the Grime. I was a backup player, and I did that having to play Roamer in playoffs. But before that, I've just played Medic and I am with my buddies. So what do you think of uh, of TF2 hap happenings in the past year or so? Anything stand out for you? Um, I think that I a lot of what I do is just kind of like see what the people that I used to play with. Oh. 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 <laughs> pause again. Well, I think it was man. an auto pause, waiting for that ten minute stop and then go again. Ah, uh, well, guess I'll uh, continue my story then. <laughs> yeah, man. What's your, but yeah, I just like to try and keep track dude. of what my friends in TF2 are up to and just kind of the stuff that stuck out in general. Um, I don't think that there have been any major crazy TF2 happenings that have been super interested. I mean, I've been somewhat out the loop, but it's always nice to watch um, or look at teams and open and I am and stuff and think about like players that I used to play with like back when I was UGC and stuff and where they are now and just seeing how people progress is always fun. No, I totally agree. I totally see what you mean. I used to play with a with a guy called Grizz. Or at least I, did, I didn't play with him, but we, we would scrim against his team and, and steal all the time. And now Grizz is a platinum player uh, a year later, so. Yeah, that's always pretty cool. It's always cool when you can like, you can like see the people working at it and you just like know, right? Like, they they want to win really hard, and they do everything in their possibility to get there. So when they actually make it, it feels pretty good. Yeah, there's also like some players where if you just kind of do a lot of in-house pugs with them, you're like, oh man, that's a really good player in these pugs. And then you find out that that really actually just translates straight into the game also, that they're not just a good pug player, but they're actually just a really good overall guy. Yeah, there's always that eternal debate in the community, right? How much of your skill can just be gotten through through DMing and 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 just improving your uh, fundamentals, I guess, versus how much of it is is tactical and and split decision making, right? Yeah, it's always it's like I think always definitely dependent on the person. Like as medic, I think that you can get better at the game by just thinking about the game and stuff. I mean, I used to like to MG as mid, but not like to the extent that some people would do to like try and improve medic DM. But I think it's just kind of a fun thing to do, even though I don't think it's entirely practical. It's fun, but just thinking about the game and talking about the game with other people and like looking at demos is always a lot of fun. And then some yeah, looking at demos, really I, always found, I always found yeah. it important. If you're like new to TF2 uh, and you're not doing this, um, yeah, look at your demos. They're they're really helpful for showing you obviously why why you lost that game or why you won that game. Yeah, it's, it's usually always... like very very obvious what what happened. Staying with like a consistent group of people too is definitely one of the more useful things to do as well. Since if I were to back when I played play with my team or ring for another team, there'd be a pretty crazy difference in what was going on. Just because when you play with people for a while, 
you're all on the same page and the synergy is really what makes you who you are, sort of. That's true. About about a year ago, we had a time in, in UGC Platinum where um, all the players in Platinum basically all played together, and they had like a big shuffle up. Um, I think uh, the major team at the time left the one Huey was on and, and, and Stabby Stabby was on. They all just, and Zalox and all them, I don't remember the name of it, but they all disbanded and left. Uh, but half of them stayed and all went to different teams. So, oh, look, we're back in the game. Awesome. Yeah, so right. it looks like Red Water is the new dudes so. back on point. But as I say that, they start dying. So, I think that um, Poopin right now is forward on the point and kind of DMing the soldier in demo and gets taken out as well. So, that actually did not go in their favor the way I predicted it. Yeah, um, looks like a uh, Quick Geek Bop going to be able to hold it out. If uh, Now, keep in mind, the HUD is totally not updated correctly. Players are going to ice skate for a little while, but in about a minute it'll be all re-updated. Um, it's like, lose up by like 10, 20 seconds right now, maybe 30. Uh, and I think they're at 4. Yeah, everyone's at max at max capacity right now, 4 on 4 situation. Um, I'm going to guess that the blue team has a little bit more uber, uh, but probably not too much. It's an uber on uber situation again, so no more yeah. Kutsukuk shenanigans. And this is what lost red team their, their advantage last time. They were not able to keep up. Uh, Crits Creek aggression and Crits Creek wipes. So, Waterson is still out of the game, and this is yeah, he's he's gone. Soldier crashed again, and I think this might be a forfeit, which could be a really terrible ending uh, to Winter Battle Royale. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I think these are the the chat messages we're seeing that are from the oh the delayed one. Like the yeah, yeah. like we'll, this is the cause of the pause in the past that happened in their future. And actually, W just goes in some earlier there. So I had a comment on his brand of 10% advantage, but he gets taken out there. So he's got 8 seconds left to respawn. And Blue can take this chance to kind of get aggressive on the red players that are overextending right now to try and get a force off a plural, or a pick on plural, I mean. That's true, but they're they're down a whole player, and that's that's certain doom in, in fours, which happens a lot uh, sometimes, you know? Yeah. Alright, so it's a bit confusing to tell what's going on just because of the HUD refreshing, but it looks like um, Red is down full two players, one's straight up at the server, and Blue is able to recap the point pretty easily, and their medic has, I think, around a 15% advantage right now, second to Uber. Yep, yeah, Waterson's getting back in though, so uh, slight disadvantage, but it's only for the one round. Um, nothing you can't come back from if you can put up your numbers, you know? Yep, and definitely. yeah, we, we have a uber advantage here for blue, plural at 45, about 30% higher than Mr. W. Um, and blue probably going to overtime pretty soon. It's been about a minute and a half now, so, and that was about where they were at last time. So pressure probably going down pretty soon here. If they, they, they wipe again, uh, this will probably be Kritschke Bops round again to, for a 2-0 victory. So. And something to note is that Waterson actually is on Sniper right now. Or Oh, I said that and he switches back to Soldier. but. He was on Cypher for a second, took a shot, and then I think he just opted to go back to the more mobile class. And Red, they're kind of bouncing back from that player loss pretty nicely. They got back on the point, and they're getting the pressure up on the blue players right now. Waterson with the bomb, and onto the Devil Man. Doesn't get the pick, but they do get the force out on plural, so if the Red players are able to kite this and get back in, this could be huge for them. I'm watching Waterson, and his his pressure game is really good right now. He's, he's, he's already back with the Vengeance. Oh, he gets an air shot on Z4, too. What a great shot. Two shots him down, gonna be able to get some kills back up. Oh no, he runs right into Feminist, so no cleanup kill there, unfortunately. But no, he opens it up here for the Red Scout. Red Scout trying to make a play. I think he's dead. Yeah, he went down. Dr. Zoidy also trying to go for plays here. Now they're bleeding a little bit. Now it's uh, only Mr. W up. He's at 90%, and yeah, there's the, there's your victory for Critch Creek Bob. They had to go aggressive there, so we, we couldn't see the scores, but now we should be able to see them, I think. Yep, so it's going to be a 2-0 for Kutz Creek Bop, and I'm going to watch C4 on this mid with the Beggar Suka, see if he does any crazy stuff with it. It looks like he's just going to opt to get his second buff, and maybe jump in and try and cause some mayhem. Yep, jumps in straight onto the demo of Mr. Zoidy, gets him taken out pretty early, it's going to be a huge pick for uh, Chris Creek Bop. And he's right onto Mr. W as well, that's another pick, so uh, C4 definitely proven to be effective this mid with the Beggar Suka. Pogoing with that beggar. Oh, he even finds the scout. That's a whole team wipe. Blitzkrieg ready to take it to 3-0, man. Already. Easy, easy wipe for them there. Yep. Blue definitely made great adjustments that mid compared to the other ones, because they got their players in there and really aggressively and just got it took down targets and did they had to to win. So with the way they've been holding and that good initial mid, I think that blue should be in a pretty comfortable place to get a lot of time off the clock, especially with the Pearl's huge super advantage right now. 
Z4 was uh, happy to throw out some bigger spam uh, over the, through China. And uh, yeah, he's just playing huge right now. Uh, the more he doesn't die and the more he pogos around them, the better off he's going to be. And yeah, he's already on the cliff side again. Just happy to force them to throw rockets and sticks at him as much as possible. Waterson comes in, forces out an uber without even shooting a rocket, just jumps away immediately. But he jumps the wrong way again. This could be really, really bad for them. The combo is like now exposed. Scout is here. They're gonna they're just gonna wrap around and get the scout, it looks like. So Blitzkrieg Bop. Again, I don't think they lost a single person. No, now they do. They lose Minx and uh, uh Mizex and Z4. And they're gonna lose their medic too. This is actually really big. Yeah, Plural went down kind of late there, so that's going to make the advantage even bigger for Mr. W, and Rip kept the point, and I think they're going to hold forward here, which is nice, getting a nice aggressive hold. So when the blue players do come in, if they manage to get a force, then they'll still have a lot of space that they have to get through to actually get back to the point. But Red has the privilege of having an, um, uh, an aggressive uber that they can use. As I say that, it looks like blue sneaks around, around, the, uh, around by the cliff, so the red players are back to back onto the point, but they still have that uber to work with. So I noticed the, the HUD hasn't updated yet for, for stream, so I've been timing it myself over here. Uh, they're 80 seconds down already for, for blue, so they got um, 140 remaining. Red team's at 25 seconds about right now, so they've got to hold out a little bit longer here. Uh, they, but it's still about even. The big thing right now is blue uber advantage about halfway there, so they should have an uber and be able to hold out uh, pretty well, especially if they get this point here. So time advantage and uber advantage going blue's way. And Z4 has actually been really, really nice this map with the Vegas Bazooka, getting a lot of picks and just getting a lot of solid rockets off and proving to be maybe the MVP for his team this time. And Watterson up on Sniper, watching him on Cliff, uh, trying to see if he can get a frag on the Medic. Does not get the initial pick, now they know that the Sniper is in play, but no one's really spamming it out, so he has some room to work with right now. Yeah, now he's getting spammed by the Dim. Oh, gets a nice shot onto the Medic with the Scout coming in, forces out the pop. Looking for a Scout now or something, is Uber still going on? Shouldn't be able to find this medic. He looks like he's coming back around though. Nope, not able to find that angle, but the soldier does come to him. Find Feminine. Now they find Plural with a nice shot there. Waterson, very patient for that shot. Oh, he gets M Mizex as well. Nice double kill there, and this should resecure them the point. Uh, but again, Blue only has about 40 seconds left on the point, uh, and Red has a long way to go from there, so. Oh, uh, total worth worthless bombing though from Z4 there. Didn't get anything for his trouble, just a scout, I think. Yeah, one of the nice things about Sniper and Forge is that if you have a solid Sniper, just two picks is a whole half of the other team. So if you can get those shots off as Sniper, you can actually be a really, really big factor to your team's success instead of a sort of detriment. It looks like, oh, Mizax getting a nice pipe onto Poop in there. Blue moving their plays back into the point, confidently holding it. Watterson's still on Sniper, but the demo doesn't want to give him any room to work with. So I think that Plural and his guys are going to be able to cap that point again. Oh, uh, mine's this time, though. Yeah, that's a nice shot from Waterson onto Ms. X. So demo pick's actually going to be huge. So Mr. W is going to be bringing his players in onto the point now, getting aggressive onto the blue players while the scout and the sniper cap. He, he had a shot there. Waterson had a shot on the medic, and he, he wasn't able to make it. But yeah, they, they recap the point here. They're still in this game. Waterson like, disconnects for like 20 minutes and then comes back and plays the most lag intensive uh, class in the game and does incredibly well. So good job for him, man. Yep. And Plural getting a frag onto the red scout Poopin right there, and Blue I think it's going to be able to recap this point, so there's a lot of back and forth fighting on the point and off the point. I think both these teams are, they both really want it badly, and it's a pretty solid, even match going on. Yeah, Waterson has yet to be picked off yet, which is incredible considering it's a fours game. Scout is yeah. finally coming for him, but he might that not make it either. Huge drop from Z4 onto Mr. W. That's that's a pretty big deal there. Um, so that actually means that Blue is able to pop off their Uber and they can kind of do whatever they want since all their damage is going to be permanent for a bit until Mr. W is back up. So Blue definitely held on this point for a lot longer. It's only 30 seconds left on the clock, I think. So they had a nice advantage here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 25 seconds remaining here and they're looking to make it for a 3 0 halftime in Blitzkrieg coming back and playing really, really well. Waterson, I think, is back on Soldier. No, that's D Dr. Zoidy. They've lost their demo man. They don't want to play with a demo for a while. They're just going to go hyper aggressive, get this medic. They do get it. They trade off Poopin for it. Soldier playing with the scout. Reloading rockets now. Oh, it takes a pipe to the face, though. Blitzkrieg is on point today. W has to run out with his, uh, with his, uh, Ubers all out. Now Waterson's here. There's the wife. And 3 0 for the halftime. Yep, good that's half. going to be a good half. I think Feminist did a really good job of locking that down at the end there. He stood on the point and got some nice frags, so. Very good job from all of Crits Creek Bop, and there's a there's some really nice sniping too out of Waterson. Just good aggression from both teams. I think that Z4 in the last round there 
really proved to be super effective player. I think that his bombs were on point, and he got some really nice, um, what's it called? Beggar's Bazooka Frags, there we go. Yeah, uh, easily securing mid for his team for the first time. The stats are something like, if you get mid first, you win like two-thirds of the time, regardless of the map. So, always, always super critical to get that first, that first point. Yep. And I think that both of the teams seem to be just kind of holding around one side or on the point. I think it might be interesting to see them try to have more coverage when um, doing forward holds. Because I think that there are some opportunities that Sailboat, Sailboat kind of missed out on um, where they could have successfully locked up both players out and not given them some of the ground to work with, but they let them kind of sneak up on Cliff or get past them. Well, Waterson going over to Sniper allowed them to spread out a little bit there. Uh, but they always had to like regroup around him if he was getting pressured, so... Yeah. It looks like Waterson's in this little uh, pre-second half on Pyro. I don't know if he's actually going to be running the class during the match, but it might be interesting to see a Pyro on Viaduct. It's sometimes not the most effective class just because of how you can get shut down at long ranges and it's not the most mobile. But if they can make it work, that'll be pretty fun to watch. Well, it's another person to shoot like rockets out of their air, and uh, they can at least protect themselves from Z4's Bakers a little bit here. Oh yeah, that that is actually a pretty good um, reason to be running the Pyro, just to kind of get those three rockets out of play. Or just any sort of good counter to the Beggar's Bazooka. Yeah, it's not the it does, it's not it's not perfect, but it's gonna be a pyro, so let's watch Waterson uh, go out here with his uh, power jack. Standard power jack, uh, degreaser and flame and flare gun. So if he can hit a flare gun on Z4 in midair, he's gonna completely stop his momentum and probably screw up his bomb. Yeah, he's already playing Waterson. aggressive. He's already on the point here. Just locking the point down there like a guard dog, and I think he's kind of got the player scared. Ooh, nice flare on defend. He's yeah. got a 39 health, and Pearl also gets taken down early. So, ooh, nice sailboat. Even though they lost their medic, got two early picks at mid. Third one, and then Ms. X is probably about to go down to the pooping right here, so... Pooping I'd say just Pyro's kind of back was, was a good idea, man. He reflected Z4's rockets three times. He got a, a, a flare gun on the scout, uh, who had to run back and not be aggressive for a while because of it. Yeah, it worked out so far. Waterson, I would, I, I would, I would want him right now to go up to the cliffside, uh, yeah. engage on Z4. Up, oh, he's back out though. No, now he comes over the top, shooting over, coming way in the back. Gonna go to their cliffside and, and rock them down. Plural getting pushed out by the scalp though. And Ooh, yes, plural. he's not quite taken out yet. Doctor Zoe is there. Life by a thread there. Yeah. Oh, reflect onto Z4. That's exactly what we're talking about. Waterson playing an awesome pyro right now. Yeah, Waterson's been pretty up. on point with his off-classing. I think it's been a very effective multi cluster for the team. And there are also some rockets that he just reflected to get um, Z4 just kind of out the way. Manages to... does not manage to get the frag on the medic, but was able to kind of scare some blue players. Didn't really buy that much time for his team, but it, it, it was something, so... He will get the fast respawn, though, uh, since they did capture the point, so that's good. Yep, that's he will be back up pretty soon. Uh, 10 seconds behind now uh, for blue team plural. Gonna be a little bit ahead on Uber Advantage, super easy get- Oh, nice bombing from Z4 though, finds Mr. W. Now a huge Uber Advantage going back uh, Blue's way. They're looking to close it out here, fast 4-0, and yeah, just making a, a really, really nice sell for the for, for championship right now. Yeah, and I'm watching Waterson trying to get kind of behind the Blue players. The pop does come out from Plural and Disguise, and they're gonna- He can split all he wants kind of willy-nilly, and they're gonna be able to keep the red guys away for a pretty long time, so it's gonna buy them even more seconds on the clock. They're approaching the two-minute mark, and Plural's been doing a pretty good job staying alive in this map, and Z4, even with the Pyro in play, has been effectively getting him on Mr. W. Yeah, he keeps pogoing away. Uh, it's, it's kind of crazy and ridiculous, and Ms. X has, like, not missed a single pipe this game so far. Yeah, I'm watching Mr. W taking um, Waterson into the fight. I think he's often just kind of play the pocket fire role, and all the heals are going to him right now. It might be more effective if Poopin takes more of the heals here, though. Poopin gets taken down as I say that, but Waterson getting some nice fire onto the enemy team, and I think that Blue effectively got scared away by the red player's aggression there. Yeah, and this is actually going to give them uber advantage, because uh, Plural has no one to heal for the moment. So a slight uber advantage going Mr. W's way, and uh, he actually loses early. It's very, very, very close right now in terms of in terms of Uber and time. Even though they're only 50 seconds behind, having the point is effectively about that much time worth, uh, worth of time, so. 
one solid hold against the push from uh, Crit's Creek Pop shouldn't mean that uh, Seal Donation should be able to kind of get rid of the deficit that they have. I mean, they're already getting close to the 129 mark that Blue Team has managed to get to, so just this hold right now is going to even up the game for them a lot. It looks like they're going to opt to get really aggressive right now. Mizek's going down. That's a really nice fragment of the demo, man. And Poro down to 71 health. Flatters and also down to 1 health is taken out. Both Ubers are pop, but one is slightly better. It looks like it's going to be in the favor of Mr. W. A lot of fighting on point. Poro's going to opt to back out here. And, ooh, Red just kind of getting my players all over the blue players' faces, but huge direct from Z4 right there. He does get taken out, though. But Red able to hold that for a bit longer. Yeah, I just really wish that they got plural in that fight. If they did, then this would still be their point. Uh, there wouldn't be any uh, reinforcing backup here. Uh, instead, they have to back off. Z4 coming in for the bomb. He is not going to get it. Oh, no, he does get it with the pipe from Mizak. So, huge aggression once again. Uh, Zoidy just going to come and try and finish it off. Instead, finds uh, the demo man. Oh, nice shotgun, though. They clean up on him, and now here comes the counter push. Really great counter push after losing their medic, they immediately go and, and get the enemy medic. Yeah, that was some really smart DM from the red players. Even after having that huge revenge of the medic going down, they just got back in there and did what they needed to do. Z4 trying to be sneaky behind the enemy lines and gets pinned up by Poopin. So red thought they were in trouble there, but they, they managed to clean that situation up and the Ubers are relatively even now. And they don't want to let the aggression. I see Poopin going forward with Mr. D uh, Waterson, but Mr. W does get taken down, so they can't be all that aggressive right now. Yeah, Feminist with the opportunistic double shot there. Medic didn't react fast enough and uh, just got just got completely taken and shut down there. Blitzkrieg Bob going to have a super uber advantage almost going forward, especially with Waterson. He really needs his medic. Wow, it's a, it's a 3k right now. Uh, no, it's actually a total wipe. Mr. Only Mr. W up. He can't even heal for the moment. It's going to be a, a full super uber advantage and a dominating uh, re-push here from Blue Team. Blitzkrieg Bob looking to make it to a 4-0 and take it to the final game here. And they're yeah. looking incredibly, incredibly strong right now. I think that earlier in this um, this round, at least, Waterson was playing more defensive role as Pyro, but I think that he's just kind of been taking heals and running into the enemy team, which might not be the best thing. He actually reflected some sticks into his med, but Mr. W did not get taken down there. The blue Zuber is popped off, or Sodi and Pluton do go down, uh, Mr. W taken down, so it's just going to be left to Waterson to defend the point. Who rolls gets killed by the Reflect Rocket? This is going to stay up there, even though blue does have the point in their possession. Yeah, so they do lose Plural, but it is even times right now, and they do have the point. Plural not happy about it. <laughs> they actually they think it was kind of a bullshit kill. But yeah, here we go forward. Oh, stopping. Feminist stopping everything that Dr. Zoe wanted to do with some nice meat shot. Uh, stopped his jump. And even contesting the scout here. He might die for it. He does. And Red does get the point back. So we might be into a, a overtime or double overtime situation here really, really soon. Mr. W is going to have about a 10% advantage uh, on this Ubers. But it might not even come into play. Uh, it might be too late for that. Really surprised neither team switched to crits right now. I think that this round, the red players have really done a good job of just out DMing blue players. Like, I think as a team, blue is really moving as a nice unit, but red, even when they lose their medic, just got their DM out and get the frags when they need to. It looks like red, not wanting to give up the point, getting a lot of aggression. Zoidy bombing in, gets the pick on the plural. Uh, blue scouts on fire as well, but the red team looks like they're not too healthy. Yeah, only Waterson's the last one left. A lot of fire, but it's not able to secure any frags there. Wow, what a wipe. They, after